Hello and welcome. I'm on the lot at Jeep. And uh, here we are at Jeep. And we're going to take a look at a Jeep Wagoneer. All right, now there's a Grand Wagoneer and a Wagoneer. They're both built on the 123-inch uh, wheelbase platform from the Dodge Ram pickup truck. How about that? Now, this one has Nexon tires on it. What do you think about that? Nexons. Nexon. What do you know about Nexon? Well, we know this. These are uh, 275 55R20s, and Nexon tires are Korean tires. All right, keep that in mind. When you see this on here, these are Korean. They Could they get tires made in the U.S.? Could they get a U.S. brand tire? They could. They could. Is it to save money? I don't know. There's no Moroni label on this, which is illegal. They're not allowed to take that sticker off. It's supposed to be displayed on the vehicle or in the vehicle. Okay, 68840 is starting price on Wagoneers. All right, so it's at least that much, maybe more. We don't know. We don't know. This one's got some, uh, you know, monitors and stuff on it like that. So we don't know what options this one has. It's white, so I'm not a huge fan. As we know, I like this little sparkle in my colors. And I'm not getting it here. Not get. I'm kind of disappointed at this. Okay, so this doesn't fold either, right? This is uh, just out here. It's plastic, too. Okay, $70,000. Keep that in mind, at least. And uh, what do we have? Right, we have this kind of mirror here, right? Where's our blind spot? It's heated. There's blind spotting, I guess, right? Heated mirrors. Now, this has a 5.7 liter V8 e-torque, 392 horsepower. That's in all Wagoneers. And it's 0 to 60 in 7.6 seconds. By the way, that is slower than a Navigator with a V6. So keep that in mind. That's also slower than my Escape. <laughs> All right, with the four cylinder. So keep that in mind. Uh, you know, that is a problem. This one's got Quadra Track 1 on it, so four wheel drive. And this one, you can get rear drive in a Wagoneer, but not in a Grand Wagoneer. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, let's see, what else are they sticking back here? A Series 2. So we've upgraded this a little bit. There's one, two, and three. So we're going to put this one at least probably closing in on $80,000. Uh, okay. <laughs> I will tell you, for $80,000, I don't know if I'd get a Jeep. Anybody said, well, Mark, Jeep can go anywhere. Well, are you going to go anywhere for $80,000? And you can get, uh, you know, uh, just a little disappointed. Look at this. Okay. This doesn't line up. All right. You see what I'm saying? This is the point of, you know, quality and quality checks these do not line up and that matters to me that you're paying 80 grand 80 grand all right think about it think this think about it and the problem is they do line up on this side so why is that why is that okay also dealer stickers those get removed immediately i don't allow any dealer stickers on my cars dealer wants to put the sticker on that's advertising cost seriously on the escape, there's no dealer sticker on there, right? I made him take it off, <laughs> which is pretty funny. I'm like, well, when you're getting gas, make sure you take all the dealer stickers off of it. He said, I'm only the second person ever to ask him to do that. So I think these should be fold out. I do think that, right? These, uh, come on. I mean, plastic, uh, come on. For this kind of money, it's got the locking wheel nuts on it. I'll probably charge you extra for that. I'm surprised at this place, there's no pinstripe on it. I'm sure they're working on doing that. Mirrors gigantic, very nice. It is very tall. Uh, and I think people will like it just because it says Jeep on it. But, you know, it doesn't say Jeep really in enough places. <laughs> you know, this is a Wagoneer. It's not really a Jeep. They're trying to actually make this into a luxury brand. Because the Grand Wagoneer, they consider a luxury vehicle. And once you push 100, I'd be down at the, uh, you know, Land Rover dealer. Or something getting a real luxury SUV, not, uh, not this kind of thing. But look, is it nice? It's nice. It's big. But it's outclassed, and the fuel mod's not great on it either. So, uh, for me, uh, is it a recommendation for me? No. Especially first year. That's the other thing. First year of any vehicle, never get it. Okay, no matter what it is, no matter what the reputation is of the company, first year of anything, don't even think about it. So, uh, there we go. The Jeep Wagoneer is up today and uh, back down, hopefully. We'll see how it goes. I wish there was a Grand Wagoneer here. Uh, they had some police cars, but I didn't actually know if they have cameras on them or anything because they fix them here. They have the Dodge Chargers. So 
Uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon on the lot.